Uh, welcome guys to uh, tutorials. Today I'll be talking about uh, Commvault Symphona okay, and its uh, features. So this is my test environment where we have a Windows 2008 R2 Enterprise and we have Symphona 10. Okay, so it's already installed. I'm launching the, the console. So this is the first uh, user interface look you will be uh, looking at. Okay, so yeah, it's going to take a minute to load the uh, the Symphona user interface. So this is a uh, Symphona 10, the version. It's a trial version. Okay. So it's uh, default is admin admin. So my master server name is uh, master server dot com. So guys, uh, I will be uh, showing uh, a general uh, this thing. Okay, so this is a trial version. So uh, it says uh, it expired. So so this is the uh, the interface, the user interface you will see. Okay, so it's great. It, it's pretty straightforward console. Okay, so here. But you can see the job controller, event viewer, alert, scheduler, control panel, okay, on the top. And on the left pan, what you can see, this is my, uh, the backup uh, environment. So the client computer groups are nothing but uh, the servers which, which you are already backing up, okay. So you can create a, any group you want. Let's say if I have a, a Linux systems that I'm backing up, so I can create a a new groups let's say as a Linux okay and uh, so it creates a new group saying Linux clients or if I have a something let's say or a, a Windows XP Windows XP uh, clients so I can I can create my own groups and I can add uh, different servers under that particular group okay uh, let's say I'll also show you. So I have a uh, Windows uh, 2008 server group, and I have a uh, Windows uh, 2012 server group. So you can create n number of groups, and you can add uh, how many clients you want, like this. Let's say include, or you can exclude. You can create different groups. It will be easy for you to manage. Now the next thing is about the client computers and nothing but the, it will show all the uh, computers in my environment where I already deployed uh, the Symphona agent, I mean the Commvault agent on that particular client. As of now I have only one master, one server, okay this is the master server, okay because this is a test lab. So this is the server. So currently I'm, I'm only backing up the file system because that's a Windows uh, server. So this is uh, if you drill down, it will show your default backup set, okay? And uh, so go to properties here, okay? Of the default backup set, I will see a new window. It should, if you look at the content, click on browse, it will show your how many drives or whatever you can select uh, which content you want to backup and everything. This means you're backing up a, a complete um, drive, okay? And also you need to ensure that the backup system state is always selected. Otherwise, you cannot uh, restore system state. Okay. And um, the next thing is the uh, security. So what exactly we have security? So there's nothing but uh, the comm cell users. Like, uh, let's say you are the primary admin. However, you want to give someone also an access to this console. You can define... Uh, a user group whether they they should have a view or they should have a modify rights uh, specify whatever you want depending upon your uh, requirement and the customer requirement okay and uh, next thing is the storage resources is nothing but your tape libraries your sand drives your vtls whatever it shows so this is the tape libraries as of now i don't have any tape libraries okay uh, this uh, i created a test uh, vtl so we'll talk about uh, in detail later and uh, media agents is nothing but um, 
you can also specify your uh, uh, server where it performs all the uh, your um, media operations okay so the policies are the storage policies define your replication policies your sub client policies so there are so many policies we will cover in detail uh, in coming sessions and the reporting part as you know uh, you can create your own reports and uh, there are standard reports where you want to where you want to run okay and uh, leave out the content directory and leave out the workflows okay those are completely advanced level so this is my uh, comcell browser i'll go back here and i'll talk about these tabs on the top so what does tools storage configuration reports view do if i click on tools i have add remove software new client register my comcell import export license administration user preferences what is add remove it will give install updates okay or uninstall software download software options what is new client new client you can add your uh, any file system clients you can add cluster clients you can add application level you can add your virtualization components also and others and register console is nothing but it will contact the uh, the uh, the uh, the support and it will register you can add a, a new comcell name and everything with a new license okay import export is nothing but the configuration file of the uh, uh, the comcell and license administration what i'm licensed for okay you can also up, update a new license so this is what it, it shows my usage my license details about different agents here you can see whether i am uh, have a eval license or a permanent license used and total available and uh, you can also um, send an email to this uh, prodreg at uh, comball for any new license uh, upgradation and this is my license summary okay and user preference is nothing but how your user interface should show up to you can uncheck and add new uh, see this is what the uh, the different user preferences okay so while coming to the storage tab now i have a you can add a drive or a library you can uh, you can configure the media management you can configure hardware maintenance and also you can also configure the array management and if i configure uh, click on configure tab i have my email and web server where it comes in the picture when we want to email about any failures or whatever it is you can configure here the web server or the internet gateway and assembly configuration uh, always you need uh, you can configure an audit trial is nothing but it keeps track of, of all your modifications deletions everything whoever making any modification to the jobs and everything settings it keep track and you can change uh, how many number of days you want to keep track of job management properties uh, it shows how many uh, jobs you want queue jobs or don't stop disable and you can also prioritize your jobs here and uh, number of how your jobs should get restarted, updates, status errors, and everything. And DR backup is nothing but your disaster recovery backup. We'll talk about later. Troubleshooting. Uh, this is how you can configure to upload the log files to support. Okay. Whenever there is any uh, job failure happens, if someone is, if the support engineer says upload the log files, you should be able to configure this. System owner capabilities is nothing but how exactly you want to configure okay your uh, preferences custom calendar operation window is nothing but uh, you can mention when jobs to run when jobs not to run any specific let's say a business requirement customer don't want to run any jobs in the business hour so you can configure here set holidays is nothing but whether let's say a halloween day or any weekends or any uh, public holiday so you can configure so that uh, backups will not trigger on that particular day so these are the different tabs under configuration now let's go back to reports so you can click you can have a overall summary okay of your complete uh, com cell here 
you can select the how many what computers you want selection uh, under failure uh, information and description and everything you, it depends upon your your whole requirement here and the options what I mean do you want to have all backup types and all job status time range it's up to you to select from uh, days to hours whatever and output is the HTML file or how exactly you want to have and the schedule part here the job schedule you can configure and your storage policies copies you want to see what storage storage policies you have you can generate a report okay and the configuration is nothing but the same thing okay your console configuration which includes your uh, uh, complete licenses uh, sub, sub client policies client properties uh, index cache registry keys legal hold and everything and the readiness is nothing but uh, it checks about your uh, network resource capacity and your cash availability and everything and growth is nothing but this is the uh, uh, prediction or this is the forecasting uh, whether you want to see how much data growth is there in the last four weeks or last six months eight months just to uh, forecast your storage and everything and the policy is nothing but what policies you have uh, on that particular client or master server you can generate a report under the information tab you have it, it shows everything about your storage information this is the same thing the forecast what i'm talking about uh, the data that is you can delete uh, which cross the retention in your tapes or your storage whatever or you want to know in next four, seven days or 30 days how much uh, tapes will be available for the your backups and these are the other reports you can generate so this is the view capability you can change your uh, reset layout horizontal vertical and this is about the the support tab gives check for updates about online help so this is what all right so this is the overall uh, commvault user interface and uh, we will talk in detail uh, about uh, each and every option uh, it, in coming tutorials so stay tuned for more update guys thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, have a nice day